Hi there, Virgo, and welcome back to Star Lord is Tarot. I'm going to be doing your monthly uh, tarot forecast for the month of October. I went ahead, shuffled the cards, and laid them out in Celtic Cross, so let's get to your reading. First of all, you have the Two of Cups in the upright, followed then by Major Arcana, the World upright, and then you have the Nine of Pentacles in the reverse, and the Queen of Swords in the reverse, followed by the Seven of Cups reversed, then the Two of Swords upright, the Three of Swords reversed, followed by the Knight of Swords upright. You have a lot of swords here. <laughs> now, the Two of Wands in the reverse, and lastly, we have the Four of Cups reversed. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and start interpreting the read for you guys. First of all, your overall energy, Virgo, is that of the Two of Cups in the upright position. So, this is lovely energy. This is cup energy, dealing with our emotions. This puts us on the same page with somebody. It could be for some of you in the month of October. You're getting along beautifully, really well with somebody very special in your life. For some of you, this could definitely indicate... Um, on a romantic level, for others of you, it could be representing a family member or a close friend that um, we're really, really hitting it off with and really jiving well with. Beautiful energy, and that's your overall energy for the month. Really nice. And it's crossed by Major Arcana, the world in the upright position. Again, this is amazing energy. This is uh, representing uh, the completion of something. For some of you, it could be that you completed a course, you could have completed a term position, you could have completed something in your life has come full circle. It could even be a relationship. Um, maybe uh, you've, if any of you have been struggling with a particular relationship, perhaps it's back on track again and um, you're, you have completed the, the cycle of difficulties with the relationship. Now, in the past, you have the energies of the Nine of Pentacles in the reverse position. Now, this is more your distant past. Uh, the Nine of Pentacles upright, this is like the strong, independent person. Um, when she's in the reverse, however, it could be um, maybe for some of you, you lost your, lost your independence in some way. Um, there's many ways we can lose our independence temporarily. Um, maybe a loss of job maybe some of you uh, left a job or if you were just on a term position maybe that concluded and um, you could have lost some uh, type of independence there maybe it was concerning a job but this is in your distant past this is not something that just happened so moving on to more your recent past these are energies that are still with you and are now waning they're leaving um, they're being left behind and going into the month of October. The energy is still a little bit around, but they're quickly um, dissipating. You have the energies here with uh, the Queen of Swords in the reverse. It is a court card, so it could be representing a person. If it's representing a person, it could be representing someone of the air signs, which is Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, uh, Sun, Moon, or Rising, male or female. Uh, the Queen of Wands, when she's in the upright position, this is someone who cuts through, um, cuts through all the nonsense and gets to the bottom of something and gets to the truth of a matter. When she's in the reverse, however, and if this isn't a person you're dealing with, it could just be your own energies, uh, Virgo. When she's in the reverse, this is representing someone who's... Um, uh, maybe having some difficulties with communication. When she's reversed, she's either um, using her words very, uh, like to cut through to the core. She could be being very uh, crass, very um, blunt to the point, to the point where she's like hurting people's feelings. So Virgo, you could be dealing with somebody like that, or you could be uh, acting like the Queen of Swords in reverse and being extremely blunt and uh, difficult with a certain person. Now, this could be playing out in several different realms. Remember, it's just a general read. So uh, for some of you, this could be on the work front, others in the home, family, um, friendships, things like that, acquaintances. 
But this is somebody who's uh, either like being very cutting with their words or it could be that uh, there's like a breakdown in communication altogether. So it could be that somebody has ghosted you or you're ghosting someone else. But whatever the energies are, like I said, are now waning and you're moving from those energies to your uh, present immediate future. It's the two of swords in the upright position. This is indicating a need to make a decision about something. Now, for some of you, it could be concerning a job situation. It could be concerning maybe this person. If this is representing a person for you, maybe, um, you know, whatever actions were taken, maybe you need to make a decision about how to go forward with this situation. There is definitely a need to make a decision, but she's sort of sitting on the fence because maybe she needs some more information or something before she makes the final decision but there's uh, definitely a little bit bit of indecisive energy coming forward for you guys now your possible future coming a little bit further down the line you have the seven of cups in the reverse position seven of cups upright this is um multiple choices that can uh, be downright confusing because it you know not all of these choices are really even viable some of them are just sad castles in the air and so it can be very difficult to choose. It's always better energy, I think, when it's in the uh, reverse position because this is when we're kind of uh, coming out of that confusion and making a, a final choice, a decision. And see, you here there was a need to make a decision and it looks like at some point during October you will rectify that and make uh, some kind of decision, come to some type of conclusion. For some of you, say, where you know it was a term position at your work or something and that has ended maybe you're having trouble deciding upon what you know where to go next or which job to take next but it looks like at some point in october probably around the middle of october you will finally make a decision on something and for others of you it could be concerning this situation with this person for others of you it could be concerning a relationship because the two of cups is also there now, where you're coming from internally, you have the Three of Swords in the reverse position. The Three of Swords is always better energy, I feel, when it's in the reverse position because when it's in the upright position, it sort of uh, means that the, fre the wound is kind of fresh. Uh, somebody has hurt our feelings, we've gotten disappointed in a situation or in, in someone, and we're feeling sort of like, you know, that sort of heartsick feeling. But it's reversed, so it means that you're kind of coming out of that feeling of, uh, of uh, being disappointed and hurt by someone. Now, for some of you, this could be representing this situation that you're just leaving now in the beginning of October. Uh, in your people environment, you have the, uh, the Knight of Swords in the upright position. This is uh, generally, for me, somebody rushing in. Now, um, sometimes in the people environment, it's representing how people are seeing you, uh, but it, sometimes it'll come up, for me, when it comes up as a court card, a lot of times this could be representing somebody who's really significant in the environment in the month of October. So perhaps for some of you, uh, there is somebody rushing in towards you, Virgo, that, um, you know, is trying to bring a message to you. Either that or it could be that you're um, very desperate to bring information or a message to someone else. So there's pro most probably somebody involved in your uh, that's very significant in your people environment. It is a court card, so it could be representing an air sign again. You've got, you had the air sign over here, but this is also an air sign, Gen Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Um, there's uh, some type of information I feel quite strongly that is either needed by Virgo to others or a specific other, or there is someone rushing towards you to give you some type of information that's much needed. So it's it's something of, of quite importance, I think, to uh, Virgo. I'm really feeling that strongly. Now, it could be that this person, you need this information from this person to, in order to make a decision because it is right next to the two of swords where there's a need to make a decision that's interesting uh, you guys will have to leave me comments there if it resonates with you 
Now, in your hopes or fears, you have the Two of Wands in the reverse position. The Two of Wands generally, when it's upright, this is someone who's making a plan, has an idea, and is moving forward with said plan. When it's in the reverse for me, it's almost like uh, you have to go back to square one, back to the drawing board. So it could be for some of you, say if it's playing out on the, the job front here, where there was a little bit of a loss of independence, it could be maybe that uh, you're just fearing that you uh, might not be able to find something in the field that you were looking for or your original plan of action when you left the last job you're not sure how it's going to turn out but this is just a fear remember it's not exactly playing out in your in the month of october it's just something that's sort of going around in your mind now uh the end card the card that ends the reading and ends the month for you guys is the four of cups in reverse four of cups upright this is sort of emotional apathy i always like to see this card in reverse because this indicates um definitely coming out of emotional apathy and wanting to sort of um you know feel good again and rebuild yourself on an emotional level and that does make sense with the you know the two cups being your overall energy it definitely makes sense um so it looks like for some of you this could be playing out on an emotional level maybe you had a situation that happened that was completely unrelated or it could have been a breakup of a last relationship but now someone new has come into your life and if that's the case it sort of jump starts your emotions or if you've just been feeling emotional apathy due to when this wound was fresh you're coming out of that there's there's definitely all indicators here are showing that you're coming out of the emotional apathy and that's how you end the month off with the uh, four cups in reverse, kind of going back to the three of cups, which is upright, which is, you know, feeling really good on an emotional level, enjoying your time emotionally with others. So this is a really good read, I think. Uh, again, I'd like to see this progression. Uh, something happened here in the recent past, it looks like concerning another person, but you're coming out of it now. I hope this reading helped you, Virgo. If it did, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. <laughs> Okay, till next month. Bye for now.